morning guys it's Paul here I'm out on the holidays and got a couple of dreams to share with you um, I have good news and I have bad news so I'll start with the bad news first because I had asked our Lord what his will was to the days that are coming so he gave me two dreams <clears throat> um, I'm not at home right now I'm out and about so I have a terrible old camera that I have to try to read to read these so I want to be very accurate what I say so here we go uh, this was on Monday and this was 31st of July and I woke up at hang on Everything's going crazy today. I got bugs attacking me. I got, oh man. So anyway, this is what I wrote. I arrived in a yard with with a garage in it. Where I work presently right now, we put all of our personal vehicles in this gated yard. And there's a garage in the middle where all of our work vehicles are. So this is what I saw. Um, upon arriving, I saw a man named Abe. So the charge hand of my work right now is a guy named Abe and the Lord always shows me what I know in my real life so that I can put these dreams together so he told me that the vehicles I needed were in the garage so I went inside this garage and I saw two Mustangs the first one was a black one with gray trimming and there was an Asian man standing there and I asked him oh whose car is this and he said it's mine and he decided to tell me, I didn't even ask him, but he decided to tell me he was paying $130 bi-weekly to have this vehicle. I, said, I just said, okay, you know, I didn't understand why he was telling me that. And then something made me look to my left. And when I looked to my left, there was an uncovered convertible red Mustang. And it was in the corner of this garage. And... It's not something I would have expected to see there because the first one was a brand new Mustang. The other one was an older, like a 1985, 86, 87, uh, 5.0 liter. Not that that matters, but it, it just, you don't see those ones anymore on the road. On the road. So I, I fluffed it off. I didn't think anything of it. We came on our holidays. And you got to understand, we came out here on Sunday, uh, the 30th. This was the 31st morning when I got up with my dog to walk down to the beach. What did I see? Pull it. This is a marina. I'm right. I'm like, I don't know, 500 meters from a marina right now on my right. And I'll even put a picture up so you know what I'm talking about. The exact Mustang pulled in. A red convertible. I'm just guessing in 1987. I'll put a picture up. Red Mustang. Convertible means uncovered, no covering of God. That was like a punch to the brain by God saying, pay attention. I'm getting you to tell people. We both know what the black horse means and we both know what the red horse means. This is a warning. Okay, so that was the bad news. So it turned around and I had another dream. Hey guys, I'm back. Um... Okay, so this is the second dream that I would consider good news. It was awesome. So, this one, forgive me again, this is really bad camera. My camera is busted here. So, um, this happened on the 1st. So, it was Tuesday. And got up at 726. And this is what I saw. I saw a bunch of people on a bus. And I was in the front of the bus and I got a word in my spirit. I heard immerse yourself in my word. And I kind of like sat up and anybody else hear that? You know, and I looked around and I started to hear a voice in my, in my head, like in my spirit. And I immediately knew it was God's voice, like immediately. And it was awesome because he was giving instructions for what was to come. And I looked back and I looked at everybody in the bus to see if anybody was going through this 
same freak out excitement I was. That's ironic that there was a siren there at the exact time I said that. But um, I looked around and nobody else. And it's funny because I was looking at the back of the bus and I saw a woman in the back and I thought maybe that was my friend Julie, but nobody reacted on the bus. So anyway, this is what I wrote. I, saw my, I thought I saw my friend in the back of the bus and she wasn't reacting with the same excitement I was. So I turned around and I just continued to listen to the Lord's voice, give instruction to what was to come. And I knew we were going home, like I knew it. So this was yesterday, I sat on it. And again, I'm on holidays, so we go out for a bit of shopping yesterday. And I love when I see my confirmation yellow Volkswagen Beetle when I don't expect it. So I always ask at the end of everything, I test the spirits and I said, God, is this from you? Please let, let it be from you. And then I forgot about it because I, I give it back to him and they, we're pulling up to go shopping and there it is. And oh man, I just started weeping on, and my brother's like, what's wrong? I'm like, oh, nothing. You know, sometimes my brother's not completely on the same page as me, but he knows I talk about God a lot and. Anyway, so I, I just wanted to tell you the good news is th there might be war and stuff coming like in the first dream, but in the second dream, oh man, we're going home, man, we're going home. So be encouraged. Okay, love you guys. Bye.